Well, hello all and welcome to a new semester. Happy New Year and it is now the day before the semester opens and I am just wanting to produce a very quick movie, hopefully it'll be quick, that shows you who I am. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Brian Soriel and I am a commercial illustrator. I was the program coordinator of media and communication arts, your program that you're in, for a very long time. Um, and I retired at the end of the um, 2019 spring summer semester, but I am continuing as an online adjunct. And I want to work with all of you um, past the semester to, if you want to, to work on your portfolio. But this isn't what this is about, and I'll send many movies out during the semester for that. This is your syllabus, which is attached to the email that you clicked on for watching this movie today or tomorrow. And I just want you to see um, and go through some of the things that are in the syllabus, not a lot, just a few. Um, the important dates of the semester are right there. If we advance this to um, a point right here, you can see the semester dates as they correspond to each week, okay? And then um, back here are the um, assignments which correspond, all of these assignments correspond to the modules that are in the Canvas class. To, um, to get that right um, a way to, to cover that right now, for those of you that, and you probably already all know this, but um, the, in logging into your Macomb class, um, I have also put in a telephone number in case you have an issue. I just want to show you where that number is in two places, okay? So when you click My Macomb, you obviously go to um, the Macomb homepage. You click My Macomb right there. You log in as I am going to do right now, but I'm going to actually pause it and I'll be back in a second. When you click that and you put in your password and your username, you come up to this screen, right? Which is your Macomb College Macomb menu screen. So it's the My Macomb screen. It's where everything is. It's where you can get into your current and former students, your academic profile. But for this class, just click the Canvas button on the left. Okay, if you've not been in an online class, that's how you get there. Okay, so you click that button on the left or the link. You come up to this page and you might not have all these classes in yours. Um, you probably won't. But down here on the bottom, um, since you're registered for it, should be the MACA 2300 V1601 for the 2020 winter semester. Now you can click on that icon right there that I'm right near right there or you can go to courses and it should be in this list. Now I'm just going to click the class and there is your class. Okay so I'm not going to use Safari because I don't like Safari so I closed it. But um, I want to go into the Chrome version of this. So let me quit Safari and go into the Chrome version of this. So when you click that class this is your home page. All right right away and also in the email that I gave you is um, the assignment list which I kind of want to go over with you um, because there is um, there is a very special aspect to this class that I want you all to understand right from the beginning but before I get there everything that corresponds to and let me Make sure I can click on everything. Everything that corresponds to um, all the assignments that are here from week one which is right there to week two which is right there all the way down to the 8 to 16 advanced projects and I even put in here don't panic all right because I'll explain myself not only in this video but as the semester pr progresses. Basically what I'm trying to tell you is I have built this semester or this class, not this semester, I have built this class for you to gain portfolio content. That's it. That's all I want. I think that everyone who is watching this movie right now, if I asked you the question, do you have enough content for your portfolio? I don't think one person is going to say um, yes. So my goal is that you come out with 5 to 15, maybe even more portfolio pieces from this class. Is that possible? 
The answer is absolutely. I'll show you that it is totally possible and you still have all summer to work with me if you want to and I'll show you how to access so you and I can actually converse for all summer. In other words, um, folks, I'm not focused on grades. I'm focused on your portfolio and satisfying our industry partners and getting you a really great job. I know some of you are in animation, you're in um, UX, UI design, you're in illustration, uh, photography, um, motion design. Um, there's so many specialties in MACA, but this class and understanding advanced Photoshop is really important. It's like the foundation to everything. Photoshop is the foundation to nearly everything in this business, to After Effects, to, um, to Maya, to Cinema 4D, to understanding um, how illustration works. The designers need to know how to manipulate Photoshop if it's just um, f photographs or images. So um, long story short, let's go through a process of you seeing, let me back off on this, um, how I have given you um, access to me after the semester. So in your first day handout on page six, um, Canvas students, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Canvas students can upload files now that are two, gigab two gigabytes. I'm not going to go over everything in this handout. Um, and I would like you to have this be the most efficient method for submitting assignments to me in Canvas. Okay. But after the semester, you may use Google Drive and share files to my personal email right here. All you have to do is open up Google Drive, drop a file in, right-hand click, share to me. And then I'll send you back material just like I do all semester long in the Canvas interface, all right? But let's see if I can move forward. Here are your weekly course outlines. They describe week one, week two, week three, what's due and how to navigate all semester. You're going to feel that week one, two, three, and four kind of have a lot of stuff in it, all right? But it's totally doable, all right? Totally doable. Um, let me see if I can find what I'm looking for here. Um, see how I put in here in week three that you have three assignments due. See how I put in here that this one can be completed in two hours or so, this one in just one hour or so, and this one in about three hours. So it's not going to be overwhelming. And I bet you that many of you in here have never really understood the full use of filters. Question, do foreground and background colors affect filters? Well, you'll see. And in Vanishing Point, I don't think any of you have done that. So I want you to have fun in this semester. Fun is the key word and building content is the key result. Okay. So um, I can go through everything that's in here, but as artists like pictures of things, I have given you an assignment guide that has all the pictures that corresponds to week one, week two, week three, week four, so on. So let me just expand this larger so I can give it a little bit more emphasis on the screen. So here it says um, week one is the path assignment. It's due at the end of week one. I want you to follow my movies and then we'll go through the modules when I get to Canvas and I open it and you'll see how easy it is to access. I don't believe in PDF files. I don't believe in written directions. I believe in you being able to um, watch my movies, navigate back and forth, rewind, 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 and get it right. Because the whole point is your, look at this, your portfolio content is either going to be visually acceptable or not. It's either going to be visually stimulating and worthy of your portfolio or not. There is no B or C. There is no almost. It's either going to work or it doesn't. And that, you know, there's, there's different tastes that artists have, art directors have, companies have, clients have. So what I want to do is to show you how to build an interesting track of portfolio content as we progress through the semester. So since I have this in front of me, you can see when the weekends, you can see what's due, the layer mask assignment. Did you know that paths have four properties? Did you know that they have um, um, 
add, which is really combine, subtract, exclude, and intersect. Did you know that? Well, you will by the end of week two. In filters, you're going to learn how powerful filters are, and I can guarantee you the end result of what you thought, how many um, combinations of things could happen in a filter, why don't you multiply that times a million? Because I show you how to make it really work and how to understand filters. I also show you some displacement maps, and I also show you how to use vanishing point in week three. All of you in week four, everyone in the class has to do the painted mirror. I want to see my paint theory come to life and you want to understand it. And I'm going to get into that a little bit more in a few minutes. But long story short, there's two important aspects of being able to paint in Photoshop. One is the layer palette, where big stuff goes on the bottom, little stuff goes on top. Okay, that sounded per pretty simple, right? The other aspect is how do you draw the paths, how do you make selections, and how do you control those selections? There is a saying in Photoshop amongst illustrators where one color goes on one layer. So you'll see all of what I mean. You can paint anything if you understand that the big stuff goes on the bottom, the little stuff goes on the top. You don't paint around objects. You paint through objects. You'll understand what I mean when I get there. All of you, you designers and you illustrators. So in week one to week four, everyone has to do these assignments, whether you're into animation, whether you're in web media, um, whether you're in video graphics or motion graphics or the video production class I meant or photography, or um, collaborative media, or illustration. All of you have to do this. And I'll give you rationale as soon as I'm done this, because I want you to see something. But, and here's the but, in weeks 5 to 16, especially weeks 5 to 8, I want to read this and I want to put it big on screen so you understand it from the very first day. I say, okay. Weeks 5 to 16 below allow for you to choose your assignment track or direction. Yes. And week 5 to 8 design or illustration modules begin this journey, this portfolio content journey for you. So, if your skill set centers around design, you can choose the week 5 to 8 design module. But if your skill set is around illustration or animation or anything like that, like motion design, you can choose the illustration module. You don't have to do both. Did you hear me? You do not have to do both. Although a lot of you, read this with me, may want to choose both. And that's where I'm going to get into the next screen. So I don't have to go through this design track. Um, I have two versions of this assignment. Um, handout in the module and I'll explain it to you where watch when I zoom in on this you can read and see everything. Do you see how clean that is? I have a low res version and a high res version. These are all student files right here. Some students do three and four and five sets of designs. Yes this is Photoshop. Yes this is Photoshop and I show you how to make it work and how to make some incredible, you being the creative geniuses that you are, some really cool design series ads that will boast, boost, well, they'll boast about your talent, but they'll boost your portfolio content, okay? So all of these are done by students. Look at those classy thumbnails and look at the finish ads that she did for Shinola. All of these students that you see right here on this um, evil wheel of death uh, are um, working in the field now. This Brittany April is an art director at McCann Erickson. Look at, the, look at the class that she had when she did her design series on dolphins. Look at how beautiful this is. And I'm talking to the illustrators, designers, or whoever you are in multimedia art. 
Look at the beauty of this. Look at the hanging punctuation off to the right. Look at the kerning in all of the text. I don't let anything go. Look at the motion direction of the gradients and the headlines, how they go off the page. Look at the movement of everything that's in there. Do you think that's by accident? The answer is no way. Look at how it's on purpose. So I want to show you not only the design capability of week 5 to 16, really 5 to 8, but I want to show you the illustration capability that this class can offer. And some of you, like I said, are going to want to do both. You may choose both if you want to do the design and illustration content for your portfolio. Okay, so I show and the reason I'm bringing this up on screen right now is because look at some of the content that these students have created after they did the painted mirror. Did you hear that? After they did the painted mirror. This is amazing. It's amazing, beautiful content. I have so many, literally thousands of these by students over the last 25 years. These students are really good at what they do. I'm even going to put in to the email I, um, um, I actually want to bring it on screen and see if I can find it really fast here. I made a very quick movie. Um, let me see if I can get to it. Um, that is the painted mirror right here. It should be in here. Painted project. Where did I put it? Oh, I don't like doing this. Okay, it's not in that one. It should have been in that one. Hard object assignment sheet. No, um, painted student projects. I'm almost finding it. Oh my God. Let me go into here and there it is. So please watch this. I mean, this is neat. So here, if you're wondering, here is a quick movie. What is this? Well, you're gonna say it's a toaster. I'm going to say it's about $2,400 and a day and a half of painting. Did you hear that? This is about $2,400 worth of art and it's a day and a half worth of painting. Okay. This is a very lucrative field. Now the young lady that did this is an illustrator at a major agency now, but I'm going to hit go. I want you to watch the big stuff go on because that's the lower part of the layer, right? And the little stuff, which is the higher layers, go on last. But Rosalie did not paint around things. She painted through things. Now that's what I want you to concentrate on right now. Watch. Look at how she painted through everything. And now she built everything that you see that's splashing on screen is towards the end of her illustration and is always the smaller stuff. I'll do it one more time. So here, I actually looped it. I didn't even re remember I looped it. So look at how cool that is. Now I'm going to include that so you can study it, but that is exactly how you become a professional in this business. Now, what I wanted to show you right from the get-go here is let me bring up um, this. And let me show you two tear sheets, okay? Two tear sheets. So b back to first... Remember, I said that in week five to eight, you can choose your design track. But let me go to one tear sheet here. This is Dominica. Dominica is a major creative director at a large agency in town. But I want you to see what capability she has. Look at her beautiful resume. I mean, that's it. That's what she showed. Look at how she did the design series here. I just want you to see how beautiful this is, but how she considered that the creative flow, the way that she got there was as important as what she developed. Did you hear that? So now uh, we're going to work on thumbnails. We're going to work on creating a whole story. Uh, your portfolio, your tear sheet is a storytelling tool because you're not going to be in the interview session sometimes. You're not. It's going to be an online thing. So your resume or tear sheet has to be, your portfolio has to be a storytelling mechanism. So I'm going to keep on going. Look at this designer. Look at how incredible her material is. But she also is an illustrator. 
She also placed in illustration gradient mesh and look at how she actually broke down her concept. She painted this car from the large shapes to the small shapes. That's not a painting. That, I'm sorry, that's not a photo, that's a painting. So she is just really super talented. And she did it because she had effort, she had a desire, and she had a, 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 a creative ambition that just wanted her, she just wanted to be a creative and go to work on a Monday and really like it. Here's Alea, and I'm sorry, Alea. And look at how, look at, she designed her own logo. She has a beautiful resume. Look at the layout of this. There's her ads that she did, but there's her um, creative flow. That's her storytelling capability. She wanted art directors to know that this wasn't just what she ended up with. This is what she started with. So look at how incredible her tear sheet is. Her, red, her portfolio is about, has about 75 images in it and it is an 11 by 14 portfolio. But look at how beautiful that is. Just amazing stuff. So I'll work with you. I'll continue. I'm going to close these right now. I'll continue to work with you um, all semester long and after the semester is there um, to advance your portfolio and get it to the point where you can get a job. Your resume isn't going to do it. Your cover letter isn't going to do it. It has to be generated from a portfolio either an online portfolio and or a hard copy portfolio that you have the ability to go in and wow people. So now I want to go into the Canvas module and finish this movie. So when you're in Canvas here, you go down and answer the Watch Me First Week 1 movie. Now why I want to play this is each one of these at first, not all of them, but they have a movie. Now I did these movies in 2019 fall, so don't panic when you see the dates are wrong, but the movie is perfect. So I'm gonna play this movie just for a second in front of you. Hi, this is the week one movie that is going to help you get started on week one and I'm going to try to have a movie for every week. That now I'm going to advance this but I want you to see these dates. And Let me what turn. I want you to see is he, um, as per the he talks too much. Movie, Look at how this is 916 to 922 it's September, October, November. Well obviously that isn't your semester right? Your semester is actually here where we have the dates right here, which is 116, 16 all the way to May 3rd. So please ignore the fact that the module may not be exactly right. The content of the movie is perfect, but it's I'm not going to redo them every single semester. So I want you to just know that you're going to see stuff that applies to fall of 2019 when you go into each movie, but it's only the dates. It's not the content. I know I'm repeating myself. Please respond to the welcome message. If you don't, I will send people after you. No, I won't. Here are the um, tool sheets. I want you to take this tool test, this multiple choice tool test, but I've given you a uh, Photoshop 2020, version 2020, um, that shows you all of the quick keys. Question, could you cheat while you're taking the test? Of course you could. Is that going to gain you anything in an interview session? And here's something that I want you to hear. Do you know that in an interview, when you go to an agency, sometimes they put you to a test right away, and they want to see what quick keys you know, and they want to see how you are at After Effects or Illustrator or Photoshop right there. It's happened to many of our students. So I've given you a blank tool test to practice. Now I would ask that you don't have the answers in front of you when you go into the tool test here, but I want you to complete it by January 12th. Now, the Path Tutorial Movie is going to link to my YouTube channel. Everything here links to my YouTube channel, which after the semester is over, just go to Brian Sorio YouTube and click the Advanced Photoshop Playlist and everything's there. So I'll play it for just a second. Hi, uh, Brian Sorio. Welcome to this first assignment for the advanced Photoshop now, online class. Whoops, that should have stopped I that. So, 
I'm not going to keep on going, and I'm almost done with this movie because I just wanted you to know where my passion is. I'm also going to put in the email. Um, many of you who've had me for uh, a professor don't have to watch them again, but I'm going to put in my Brian Sorrell portfolio movie and what I call Methods and, Mo and Motivation. Okay? So now don't panic with the week two assignment or the week three assignment. Please just get them done. It's, week three is filters, as I showed you, light burst and vanishing point. Week four is understanding. I put other movies in here like I'm not sure all of you understand how a brush in Photoshop works. Well, guess what? I have a movie that actually shows how brushes, understanding brushes in Photoshop. I put the word optional there. If I were you and I was a student, I certainly would click on those, okay? And then you go by the practice, um, practice mirror movies. And then when you're done with any assignment, there's a drop box right in the module. Do you see the drop box that's here for light burst that I'm clicking on right there? Do you see the drop box that's for vanishing point that I clicked on and the drop box for filters? So every one of these has a drop box. As the semester rolls on and as you near to week five, here is the design module that you can choose. In the design module, I have a lot of stuff in there, but it uh, the most important is the design project tutorial movies number one through five. And in number five, I show you how to actually build from an image that you have found or I have found an entire ad. Okay, now I realize that if this ad, and listen to me very carefully, if you're going to be a designer or an art director working for an agency, you're not going to do this in Photoshop. You may do the, the, the quick comps in Photoshop to get the comps by the client and to get their approval, but you're going to go into InDesign and create the finish ad. I'll state that one more time. InDesign is the application to create design um, material. Bottom line, can it be done in Photoshop? Yes. Should it be done in Photoshop? Not for finish. For comp, it's fine. But for finish, no. Okay, now that I've said that, here is the week five to eight illustration one. If you're an illustration student and you don't have any want to do design stuff, then don't, don't, don't do this module. Concentrate week five to week 16 on illustration stuff. Notice that I actually have a face that's in here from a, and, and you can actually see how within three movies, I show you how to handle soft blends. I show you how to use something called color range to, to zero in on technique, texture, and very difficult um, ways to develop um, complex selections, but to do it very quickly. So illustration students are going to have a very good time in this class. All right. Now, the, 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 after week five to eight, I just want to let you know, um, week 11, I just put this in there so that you can see how to paint a car. If you want to learn how to paint a car, that's in there. Is this mandatory? No. Week 12 extra assist tutorials are totally in there for painting aspects of products. In this case, quite a few aspects of you can you can read them yourself I have more assist module tutorials that are based on um, how to develop like here painting texture on a face I show you how to go into this and actually paint the complex textures that are that's on her face so that you can end up with a pretty incredible finish uh, illustration is, uh, that is the finish illustration that is not the photograph so um, we're gonna have fun this semester and I want to enjoy it with you if I haven't covered anything I'll have another little quick movie for here but um, the other thing that I wanted to make sure is that if you can't um, let me remember where I put it if you can't it's right here um, get into Canvas right away on the very first day. Go to this number that I have on the first page of the first day handout. Call them at that number that I'm highlighting right there. And tell them that you're having trouble that you don't see your 2300 class in your Canvas dashboard. So when you go, let me show you. When you go to Canvas, whoops, 
Uh, I don't know why. Did I close that page? Oh my gosh. I think I closed that page. So when you go to your Canvas dashboard, it should come right up here. And I go into Canvas and you click the dashboard. See the dashboard? That's what comes up. If there's nothing on here and you can't find your class, the number is on the bottom down here or in the first day handout. Call them. They'll get you up and running right away. And that's basically it. I hope that you're excited for this semester. Um, send me an email. Uh, that's another thing. Here's the inbox. If you want to send me an email and tell me anything, um, this, is, this is how you actually send me assignments that you are having a problem with. So here's, if, if, if I were you and I had a question for Brian, I would click this box right in the middle. I'd select my course. I'd click this button over here on the right. I'd click teachers. I'd click Brian. I'd type in whatever I wanted for my subject. And then I would type whatever I wanted to know Brian to this. Let's say this is Brian. I'm having a real struggle with the second assignment. Click the paper clip and attach your PSD file. Okay. Attach your PSD file. And here's some, here's a, here's a bit of trivia. How many of you have ever used a JPEG? <gasps> You're all raising your hand. That's incredible. How many of you know what the heck JPEG stands for and when was it developed and why was it developed? It stands for Joint Photographers Expert Graphic. It was developed as a means to make images into um, code. That's basically it. Images into code. Have you ever seen this? And I know I'm kind of segueing here, but have you ever seen this child's face or any JPEG and open it? Actually, watch this. I'm going to open it in text edit because that is why JPEGs actually work. So I'm going to go to all applications. Look what I'm doing. I'm going down to text edit. And now there is your JPEG. It's nothing but code. Isn't that amazing? So when a JPEG transfers by email, it's not a picture. It's a bunch of um, bits of information. When that uncompresses, you know what it ends up looking like? Boom. Just like that. So that picture was all those n letters and numbers. That's it. That's how come we can send very complex high resolution images across the internet and it doesn't have to take so long because it's broken down into code. All right, I can keep on talking. I've been told that I talk a lot. So um, send me an email. Remember to always attach whatever issue you're having, attach your PSD file to that, not a PDF, not a JPEG. I want you to attach your PSD file. Now I'll in turn go into the same, I'll in turn, oh, whoops, sorry. I will in turn, did I just do that? what I think I did? Okay, let me minimize this. I have no room on my screen. There it is right there. So I will in turn, let me see if I kept it. Nope. So in the email, whoops, you know what? That's a movie. <laughs> that was funny. That was a movie. <laughs> that was, okay, it wasn't. Never mind. You all know what I'm talking about. So make sure you click the paper clip, attach your PSD file. I'll create a movie of your file and help you back on the road. And if it's a Thursday or a Friday or a Saturday, I check all the time and you will be back up and running. That's how come we can get a lot of portfolio content done in this important class. So email me after you've watched this. Let me know if you wanna work on your portfolio content with me. How many other teachers have really bugged you about your portfolio content? Well, get a load of this, I am. I want you to have 50 to 75 to 100 pieces of content for your portfolio. And it's possible. Go to my Brian Sorio YouTube page, click on the portfolio development playlist. Watch two of the movies that have to do with um, Steve Carey's portfolio and Kim Dworkin's portfolio. And then watch the other portfolio content movies you are going to be surprised on how much content you can build. And you know what? I'm going to follow this up later on, maybe in a couple of weeks, and send you those links and bug you again about watching them, okay? So welcome to a new semester. I don't think I've missed anything. Um, 
please get on to the assignments, do the welcome message, and I will talk to you all soon.